Well, hello to Class T at St. Boniface Primary School. Merry Christmas, Class T. Lovely to be with you today. And hello to your grown-ups, to Mr. O'Connor and Mrs. Dowler. Now, your grown-ups, Class T, have been telling me all about the hard work you've been doing this term. Sounds like you've been working your socks off. I hear you've been learning all about the tutors. Is that right? Now, I used to like delivering presents in the Tudor period. Now, that is... I like delivering presents and avoiding getting my head chopped off because, you know, I think you'll agree that old Henry VIII would have been on my naughty list back then, wouldn't he? Tricky, tricky man. Oh, yes, he was. But I still think of him when I fly over London and look at the tower and all of the palaces. Oh, Tudor times were wonderful, weren't they? I hear you've done lots of lovely work on those. And also, oh, yes, and Chief, yeah, and I should, uh, Chief Help has asked me to ask you a question. He's asking me to ask you if you've written your Christmas lists to us. Have you? If you have written them, that's wonderful. If you haven't, please feel free to carry on writing them. Put pen to paper or cut out and stick some pictures and we shall make sure we get as many of the presents you'd like to you as possible because you know what? It sounds like you've been working so hard that you deserve them. And you all will be on the good list this year. Unlike Henry VIII, I think you will definitely not be on the... Uh, the you-know-what list. Now, while we work hard here at the North Pole, we have a little competition every year to find the silliest, funniest Christmas joke. And today we've chosen our winner. Would you like to hear it? Here goes. How do snowmen get around? They ride an icicle. <laughs> an icicle! <laughs> what a wonderful message from Santa. Now, would you like a story? Father Christmas Needs a Wee by Nicholas Allen Father Christmas Needs a Wee He's been drinking drinks since half past three At number one, one hot chock moo yum At number two, two plates of stew At number three, three cups of tea At number four, he'd had four more At number five Five pops with pies. At number six, fruit mix, all six. At number seven, milk, seven, pure heaven. At number eight, eight cool milkshakes. At number nine, nine lemon and limes. At number ten, ten teas. And then, oh, I think that you will clearly see why Father Christmas needs a wee. But oh, what with all those drinks in mind, he forgot to leave the presents behind, and so... At number ten, he left ten pens. At number nine, nine nursery rhymes. At number eight, eight pairs of skates. At number seven, sweets, seven, oh, more heaven. At number six, six colourful bricks. At number five, five toys to drive. At number four, four beasts that roar. At number three, three Christmas trees. At number two, two cows that roar. At number one, one pup that runs. And so, at last, his work is done and now it's time for him to flee for father christmas needs a wee through the town across the sky the sledge it rises rises high above the clouds and over the sea he must be quick he needs his wee at last he's back at home all safe just look at that smile upon his face he feels in his pocket <gasps> but where is the key for father christmas needs a wee an elf with a gift appears by the door. I found this key just here on the floor. He thanks the elf and turns the lock. He runs up the stairs right to the top. And there is the loo. He shuts the door. Oh, happy Christmas! We hear him roar. <laughs> what a great story, Santa. Have you got anything else? Something funny, maybe? And now I'd like to read you one of my favourite poems, Snowball. I made myself a snowball, as perfect as could be. I thought I'd keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it some pyjamas and a pillow for its head. Then last night it ran away, but first it wet the bed. <laughs> Santa, that was brilliant. That's one of my favourites. Did you enjoy that? 
Well, it's last tea. It's been wonderful to speak to you and your grown-ups today. Absolutely wonderful. But we have to work very hard here now because the special day is coming up. It's not long now. But, oh, yes. A little birdie has told me that there are a few people in your class who have their special days in December. I hear that Joni, Cassandra, Harrison, Stan and Kenji all have their birthdays in December. Well, from all of us here at the North Pole, we'd like to wish you all a very, very happy birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. Now, one last thing before I go. Will you do me a big favour, class T? After you've left out some biscuits or a mince pie for a gentleman who may be getting a little tired at that point on Christmas Eve delivering presents, will you also do me one more big favour? Will you please make sure you go to bed nice and early on Christmas Eve? Get all wrapped up warm, eyes shut tight, so I can do my favourite job of delivering all of those presents to you that so deserve them because you've been so good this year. Will you do that for me, Class T? Thank you, and a very, very Merry Christmas! Oh, oh, oh.